Hello everyone and welcome to Juriz de Fora. This is a city in the state of Minas Gerais, right in the south of Minas Gerais, with a population of about 600,000. So it's quite a big city and it's just a three hours drive away from Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, so it's a really interesting city, very busy city. I've been staying here for about three days now, trying to get to know this place. Uh, it's a really interesting place, very vibrant and a lot going on. Right now I'm in a place called the Park Haufeld and I'm just going to have a quick look around the city and try and get to know it a bit better. This park actually provides quite a lot of shade for people, people who live in the city. It's not that hot today, it's 26 degrees, but it's still nice and cool in the park. Just as a point of reference, this building here is actually the Tourist Information Center. So I've been in there today to get some information about the city. So they've got free leaflets and guides. This is on the Avenida Rio Branco, which is one of the main avenues in the city. On this uh, Avenida Rio Branco, we've got this really famous panel. It's called the Four Seasons. And it's actually by an artist called Candido Portinari. And it was made in 1956. And he's actually one of Brazil's most famous artists. So it's all made of tiles, and it's known as, as Quatro Estações, or the Four Seasons. So I'm now on the high street in Jerusalem. This is known as uh, Rua Halfeld. And you can see these panels continue uh, right to the top. And these are called Os Cavalos, or Cavalinhos. And these tiles are also designed by Portinari, who's one of Brazil's most famous artists. So this building itself is actually quite well known in Brazil for having these depictions of the horses. So the high street here is really busy, lots going on, lots of shops. It feels very European, this high street, and it's got a mosaic floor. Rua Halfeld is the busiest street in the whole of Jerusalem Forda. It's, it's pretty much like the high street. And they've got banks, restaurants, shops, bars, cafes. They've got pretty much everything here. So it's very busy, a lot going on, and a good selection of retail, actually. Right now, I'm on the Praça João Pessoa. Behind me is a really famous building in the city. It's called the Cine Teatro. So Cinema Theatre, it's one of the most well-known landmarks in the town. It's built in this really interesting Art Deco style and it's one of the oldest buildings in the city as well. This is actually the third city that I visited in Minas Gerais. It's a really interesting state. It's quite traditional, but one thing I would say is it's got really nice food. So every time I've gone out for lunch, the food has been really, really good quality. They're very good on meat here, they do a lot of barbecues. So if you enjoy having really good quality barbecue, then this is a really good place to come. So there's a lot of street vendors on this street as well, which is quite common in Brazil. Selling food, clothes. They have a lot of these police vans on the high street for security, which is really good actually. So you don't need to be worried. Yeah, there we go, the police. Loads of different shops, loads of cafes. So I'm still walking down the Haufeld Street. A bit further down now, there's fewer sort of high street shops, more discounter shops and smaller independent shops down this end. So you can see the Art Deco architecture here. Really decorative style. And over there is the station square or the Praça de Estação. So I'm now on the station square in Jerusalem. Quite a nice little square next to what I think is the old station. I don't think it operates as a train station anymore. So in Brazil, people tend to take more coaches rather than trains. The train system has been scaled down a lot. Yeah, but it looks like they've got a market going on behind me. So I'm just gonna have a bit of a nosy, see what's going on here. The market's in full swing. 
got some popcorn and crisps here. A lot of clothes. Football shirts. The World Cup starting soon and everybody in Brazil is quite excited about it. Yeah, so here you can see the old station. Antiga Plaza de Estação, an old station. And it's got the date of 1906 on it. And a clock tower, which is actually still working, which is quite impressive. So the market continues on this side of the road. More clothes, more fruit and feedlot, things like that. This is called the Plaza João Penido. I'm just walking down to the central market now. This is actually a taxi stand right off the main street. If I'm not mistaken, this brick building here is the central market. So we've got green graces here, fabric shops. Look. Uh, different types of nuts, pastes, more fresh fruit. In Minas they have a lot of cheese. Cheese is very popular and this shop's got a good selection. They've even got some wine over here. Red wine in these massive bottles. Check out this selection of cheese. Amazing selection. Queijo canastra is quite a traditional cheese from Minas Gerais. Got some sausage as well. Nuts. So here we've got a stand selling biscuits, breads, nuts, dry fruit, flour, things like that. Candles, a good mix. And they've got lots of these tea towels. So you see these a lot in Brazil. They're normally 100% cotton. They're quite reasonable and they make really good souvenirs. So this bag is a sugar bag. Very cool. So have a look at all the sweets they've got here. They've got doce de leche, guayabada, bananada. So these are all fruits with sugar. Jalea de mocotó. Never heard of that. That looks pretty nice. It looks a bit like turon from Spain. Beji Moleki, this is peanuts with sugar. Hapadura. I don't know what that is. So they've got a sale on the brooms. Only 11 rares, 80. About two pounds. Really interesting little market full of local traders. Interesting food, local food, local products, local fabrics and things like that. So yeah, nice market to visit. It's lunchtime, having my late lunch here at the Cardapio Mineiro. I've got some beef, rice, beans, lettuce and sort of these chips things and a drink. So all of this just cost me 18 reais, so really reasonable. I was kind of lucky to find anywhere to have lunch at this time, so I'm really glad that they've served me here. Yeah, so I'm going to tuck into my food and see what it's like. This is my dessert. Watermelon with banana and canela. I've also got myself a Fanta. So I'm just finishing off my lunch with a coffee. Nice strong black coffee. My lunch was delicious. I especially enjoyed the banana with cinnamon. That was really good. Yeah, so that was an unexpected late lunch. Very nice. One thing you see a lot in Churisi for these galerias. They're like indoor shopping streets or shopping centers. And it's quite good if you want to get out of the, um, out of the sun or if it's raining. Quite useful. Quite a handy place. I'm heading back to my hotel now. 
I'm getting on a bus this evening to Petropolis in the state of Rio de Janeiro, having a quick final look at Xerizifora and its high street, its bustling high street. If you're ever in Minas Gerais, you can find one of these drugstores or these pharmacies called Arujo. They're really good places that where I go and get water every day. It's basically a pharmacy, but you can also buy clothes, food, drink, ice cream. I even bought an umbrella there as well. So it's a really useful place to go to. Yeah, so it's still quite busy on the high street. It's about quarter to five now. This is the tourist information place. Paso Municipal. Yeah, so really cool building. And they've even got these lampposts that remind you of the high street. I'm back on the Park Haufeld now. And just spotted this really beautiful Art Deco style building. It says Camera Municipal, so I think this is some kind of council building. Yeah, and it's got the Brazilian coat of arms at the top. So this church is called Igreja São Sebastião, or the St. Sebastian's Church. Oh, it does look open. Nice little church on the hill there. Right, so I'm signing off from Juizhi Foda, saying goodbye to this fantastic town. This is the last place I'm visiting in Minas Gerais. So it's such an interesting state. I've really enjoyed getting to know it a bit more. The next stop is Petropolis in the state of Rio de Janeiro, which promises to be a fascinating visit as well. Take care, all the best and ciao.